Hey y'all, I'm gonna be reacting to Puli Puli Mole Car episode 11. I'll be watching it from YouTube, and it's off of Band Dynamico Arts channel. They currently have 10,000 likes and 43 dislikes, so I'm gonna give them a like. And now I will be starting my reaction in one zero go. All right, I'm pumped up for Puli Puli Mole Car wholesomeness. Dun, 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 dun. I always love this song at the start. That's how you start grandiose awesomeness. Wait, is it, it seems like a potential Back to the Future reference. I could be wrong though. Yeah, it has to be because you're seeing it in either in ancient times or Antarctica. But going by the clothing, my guess is it's ancient. Yeah, ancient times because you see those um, people making a play. It's gonna be, yeah, the car dressed up as Mandalorian. Aww. Imagine that Mulker accidentally breaks us up. Oh, shit, yeah, it is a Back to the Future reference. That's some, yeah, that's the, um, that looks like the professor guy from Back to the Future that was alongside Marty. Yeah, oh, man, my. It just uh, checked marks all my bits in this stuff. <laughs> okay, the better one if they want to be killed by the cavemen. Yo, who the fuck to go into this type of badass ring? Aw, I feel so bad for the mole car. Wait, they have to kill a guinea pig! What the? Yeah. way to get into this it feels like so uh, like visceral seeing a real guinea pig and then seeing a mulk actually looking aww aww they should share each other's warms you know I think our cute mulk should go towards the guinea My heart, oh! I don't know how much sweetness I can take. I felt like that almost killed me, though, with its cuteness. No, seriously, I wonder if they actually asked permission to uh, utilize the doctor from, from Back to the Future. That's badass! Yo! Oh, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Yes! Yo! Yo! 10 out of fucking 10! I don't think I can even give this anything less than that because... Wow! From a story standpoint, that was absolutely amazing because... For one... And I remember the name of the doctor, it was Dr. Emmett. Now, here's what I really loved about this episode. You can tell this one, it actually had huge sticks considering that they traveled back in time and they accidentally fucking wrecked the flame and you see everyone in danger by cavemen. I love that type of randomness because it makes the series unpredictable. I mean, last week we had a Magic Girl episode. This week we have a attack of the cavemen. And then on top of that, we got Dr. Emmett with the mole car, then a real guinea pig. I'm like, yo, how can I not give this a 10 out of 10? Because from a story standpoint, it was filled with variety. It was unpredictable. How the real guinea pig showing up was like, it blew my mind. So that's why I thought the script was fantastic on top of ma making me laugh a lot. And from a character standpoint, what else can you really say about it? It was nice seeing the mall car, Dr. Emmett, and the girl that was with them actually give a blanket to the guinea pig. It had a lot of heart and soul into it. And then seeing those cavemen pissed off was hilarious too because, yeah, I mean, they are trying to survive in the cold wind, of course, to be pissed off. And that's what I love about this episode. Then seeing the love between the guinea pig and the mall car put a smile to my face. 
And then I love how afterwards you can see they actually affect the future because you see everyone with like warm, warm blankets and I'm like, yo, this series, it's got some of the bitten largest amounts of soul I have ever seen. So that's why I thought it did fantastic from a character standpoint. And visually, it was so competently produced. I mean, my goodness, they had a real guinea pig. And it didn't even feel out of place. I'm like, yo, I don't even know how the animators did that, but oh shit. It was fantastic. I mean, goodness. This is just absolutely fantastic. And that's something I really loved about this episode, too. And then on top of that, wow. Just wow. And you know what? In the comment section, I haven't really commented in the Play Play and Walker comment sections, but I'm gonna say this is a masterpiece. Yes. The Back to the Future references were full of wind. Okay, yeah, I had a comment. This was so amazing. I had a comment in the comment section. No one's probably gonna read my comment because it, there's already like 182 comments in like the span of two hours. Holy guacamole, but damn. I just had to show my respects. That's how amazing I thought it was where I had a comment in the comment section. But yeah, script fantastic, visuals amazing. The sound effects were great, and that's why I feel this episode was 10 and 10. I mean, if there is a way to give this like 10,000 more likes, I would do it. I would absolutely do it. But since YouTube doesn't allow that feature, I won't be able to. But what I will do though is I'll leave a link as to where I watched the episode in the description box so that if y'all want to witness sheer on greatness, then y'all can click. And I recommend it. Wow. The animation studio, they have outdone themselves completely. And then aside from that, just the randomness too of like getting codes. Because in most animation series, you would expect like cutesy characters to cuddle together. And that's the normal expectations. Then this series, it's like the writers are figuratively saying, fuck the conventional route. We're going to do something even awesome. And I'm like, damn. That is a Bad. And that's why I love the episode script, too. Because only something like Pulley Pulley Car, <clears throat> Mole Car, can just pull it off. And that's why I thought the episode is absolutely masterful, if you ask me on my own personal opinion on that. And of course, the music liven things up, too. I mean, I had zero complaints. And yeah, that's how I rationalize my 10 out of 10 score, y'all. But anyways, y'all, these are my thoughts on the episode. I would really love to hear either your thoughts on my reaction or the episode itself in the comment section below. Hope y'all rate the video, share it, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later if you come back for more because I'm definitely going to be reacting to Pui Pui Mole Court episode 12. But anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching my video, everyone, and have a great, safe, and fantastic day, everyone. Bye-bye.